The Pointing Dog Social Club is a celebration of good dogs, good people, and the great outdoors. We meet every week on the courthouse square of lovely Pointing Dog, Tennessee. We now join a meeting in progress with your host, Dr. John White. Bonza Hatchie. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to another meeting of the Pointing Dog Social Club. We've got a great show for you tonight. There's a real good buddy of mine who's come to town, Mr. Mark Lanter. And Mark lives down the road in Birmingham, Alabama. And I'm so excited that he's here. So excited, in fact, that this show's going to be a little different than others. We're going to spend the whole time with Mark and find out about a very exciting project he's worked on recently. So without further ado, I want to bring up a fella who not only is a highly respected educator, he teaches jazz studies at the University of Alabama, this guy is one of the most sought after drummers in the country. He's played on records or produced albums for some of the biggest names in the music industry. I'm talking about my old pal, Mark Lanna. Mark Lanna, everybody. Hi, John. Thanks for having me on the Pointed Dog Social Club. Well, we're tickled to death that you drove up and brought this big band with you. And I want you to talk about this project you helped produce. But yes, Big Band of Brothers. John Harvey came to me as someone who has been following me for years and um, even saw me play in the 70s with the University of Alabama Jazz Ensemble and a band, a nifty little horn band when I was 18 years old called Moon Pie that was quite a band. So we go way back, even though I didn't know him until he approached me about this project. But folks need to know this. This is a fantastic story. As I understand it, John Harvey is a third-generation newspaper publisher in Guntersville, Alabama. And he played drums in a few bands growing up, and he always loved music, and he had this dream for years. He basically came to me and told me uh, about this idea he had of combining big band music with the music of the Allman Brothers Band. To be sure that the name of this project is the full title and the album, Big Band of Brothers, a Jazz Celebration of the Allman Brothers Band on New West Records. So it seemed like it would be more of a local regional project as I took this project on. And um, in the meantime, trying to plan 24 musicians to come in and out of the studio and pull this thing off uh, John picked up uh, Charles Dreeby from Blind Ambition out of Atlanta, who he signed with on the project. And through Charles, we were able to get in some marquee names like Ruthie Foster and Mark Broussard and Jack Pearson and Wycliffe Gordon. We got an, an arrangement from Wycliffe Gordon, uh, an arrangement from John Burr out of New York. Tom Wolfe uh, is an uh, Eastman graduate that started the jazz studies program at Alabama, contributed some wonderful arrangements, as did Shane Porter, an alumni, and Mart Avant, who's out touring with the Tuscaloosa Horns all over the world with the Temptations and the Tops, and he's out with Jamie Johnson right now. And anyway, uh, just kind of went to my go-to guys, mostly the people that I knew and worked with and, and knew, spoke rock and roll, and understood what the Almond Brothers were about, because I wanted a, an authentic Southern feel to this and have that first-hand knowledge and experience of growing up in the South and, and what a heavy influence the Almond Brothers were on all of us, as well as jazz. So John Harvey's a big band jazz fan and an Almond Brothers fan, and by golly, we put it together, I think. What I love about this, John Harvey is a big enough man to put aside his ego. He wanted to put together a first-class band, and he made the decision that he wasn't the guy to play drums on this album. John could have played drums on this, and initially we were trying to find a track for him, but he, um, I guess, left the drumming duties to me in the end, And but he does have a cameo appearance on the cowbell, if you can catch that and pick that out on the album as you're listening to it. Well, let's hear this band. What are you going to start out with? Yeah, let's listen to Don't Keep Me Wandering. Oh, wow, that's one of my favorites. The Big Band of Brothers with Don't Keep Me Wandering. Oh, tell me about the car I saw Parked outside 
your door Tell me why when you left me waiting Two or three hours more Tell me why when the phone rings, baby You're up and across the floor Yours and mine You were lost in a silver spoon I pulled you out in time And I hope that you got your reasons For the way that you've been lying Oh, please don't keep me wondering no about Ruthie Foster, Mark. She was your lead singer on that number. Ruthie Foster, of course, um, was grand, uh, had a Grammy nomination a couple years ago. It's out of Austin, a powerhouse. Just couldn't have had better singers for this project. Well, and she's a world-class talent. There ain't no question. And you have another singer who you feature. Tell us about that guy. Uh, I met Mark Broussard recently, and uh, of course, he's got a lot of notoriety, and heard his band um, right before the pandemic and things shut down and he has an astonishing group. He's a, such a powerful, soulful musician, wonderful band. Well, I've heard Mark sing and I'd like our club members to hear him too. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mark Massard.
been lied to And I don't know why I let that mean woman make me a fool She took all my money Wrecked my new car And now she's with one of my good time But they're drinking in some cross town